Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Afternoon, evening, whatever. I think it's evening. Let's take a look. Yes, it's evening. It's dark out. So it is definitely evening, so not good afternoon. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm making this video because I need some assistance choosing a new lens for this baby right here. This is my Nikon D7200. Uh, it's a DSLR or crop camera. Um, the lens it has on it right now is this lens here. So it's the kit lens, right? So nothing fancy, nothing special. It's the lens it came with. 18 to 140 millimeter, 3.5 to 5.6 G ED. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is more portrait photography. Okay. Um, so I want to upgrade the lens. I want to get something better than, than that. Uh, something with, you know, uh, better aperture settings, something like down to 1.4, 1.8, uh, maybe even 2.8 would be an improvement on this. So I'm looking at three options. One here is the Sigma. Sigma 17 to 70 F2.84. Uh, and I think I have the catalog on this. Yeah, I do. I have it right here. So here's the Sigma catalog. The lens I am looking at is this one here. So this lens here. Now, I never used Sigma before, but just by doing the reviews, I'm in Japan, by the way, sorry, it's in Japanese. Um, just by looking at the reviews, oh, what? The price on this is, what's the price? Yeah, 57,000 yen, that's about $550, okay? Maybe a little less, maybe 530, 540, something like that. Could even be 500, depending on the exchange rate. So that's one option with Sigma. Uh, Sigma gets really good reviews. Their motors, from what people say, are, are very quiet. Uh, colors are very accurate. You know, not a lot of ghosting or anything like that. So that's one option. Other option is obviously get a Nikon, a Nikon lens, right? So here's the Nikon AFS Nikkor 50 millimeter F 1.4G. Uh, but, you know, drawback on this is one, it's strictly 50 millimeter lens. I don't get the flexibility of the 17 to 70 millimeter. Uh, and the price on this, does it say? I know it says it. So there are the specs. Yeah, there's the price. 65,000 yen. That's $600. So it's a little more expensive. And it's strictly a uh, 50 millimeter lens. So lastly, last one. Let me see if I have it here. I think I have it open here somewhere here on this page. Uh, so this is the Nikon here. Nikon 50 millimeter. Uh, the other one is the Tamron. I'm looking at a Tamron. Tamron SPAF 7050 millimeter, 2.8. Uh, a spherical. Now, that's where, uh, you know, I'm still kind of a beginner, so uh, I don't really know what the difference is between. Let's see if I have that here. I think I do. Uh, yeah, here it is. So here it is, SPAF 1750, a spherical IF, price 55,000 yen, again around $500. So these are all around $500 with the exception of the Nikon, which is $600, so that's $100 more and it's strictly a 50 millimeter lens, it doesn't have the flexibility of these other lenses. Um, so what's the difference between the spherical and this here, the the macro, I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research on that. But if anybody out there does know, I would really like to know. Uh, so if anyone could basically just post some reviews on my YouTube page here about these lenses, um, you know, good or bad, you can, you know, if you're Nikon people, that's fine. If you're, you know, Sigma people, that's fine. If you're Canon people, that's fine. I know everyone has their kind of preferences but you know coming at this from kind of like a more of an amateur 
I'm not even going to say semi-pro. I'm not even there yet. But, you know, I'd like to get there. But, you know, I don't want to pay the Nikon price. So that's why I'm looking at the Tamron and the, uh, uh, the Sigma. Because, uh, obviously, Nikon prices are just, you know, stratospheric. So, if anyone has experience with either the Sigma or the Tamron with Nikon, please let me know. Or, if you have another suggestion, please leave another suggestion in, uh, in the message box, or not message box, but somewhere on this, on this page, leave a message on what you recommend. Okay, uh, that's it for now. So any comments would be welcome, any recommendations would be welcome. And uh, that's about it for now. I will talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.